So hey everybody, I wanted to come and share my top seven foundations with you guys really quickly. Um, there's stuff I use like every day or stuff I use throughout the week to, you know, take photos or do someone else's makeup. Well, no, not do anyone else's makeup. Anyway, the foundation that I use all the time. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is the MAC Studio Fix. Uh, this is pretty much on the high end scale of foundations. It's a NC37. It's pretty much new. It has a beige undertone. I always use beige as my undertone. And uh, I know normally their foundations have like an orangey undertone. So this is pretty new. And MAC is pretty good at uh, basically matching up foundations to your skin tone. The next one I'm going to share with you guys is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. This is in the color Buff. Um, it's about six dollars, so very inexpensive. Um, great coverage, I have to say, and it doesn't leave your face shiny, so it like it's matte. There we go. The next one that is kind of expensive, kind of not, is uh, Avon's Cashmere Advanced Liquid Foundation. I love this stuff. However, it irritates my eyes, like. If you go, you know, to get under here, my eyes will start to water. But I love it because it's very, very good coverage. I'm medium beige in this. Um, it has sunscreen in it, everything like that. So it's, it's a lightweight foundation, but it still gives you, like, medium to high coverage. The next thing that I use all the time is the Maybelline Fit Me Stick. This is in 310, which is sun beige. And it has the little, you know, shine free thing in the middle. That little thing. And I use this when I notice that my skin is getting oily, like right here. My skin only gets oily right there. So I'll use this if I notice that my skin is getting, you know, a little oily. Uh, for the coverage for that, it's like a light to medium, but then you can build it. So it's a high coverage after that. Um, something I use. All the time in the summertime is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation. And this is in the medium. I use this in the summertime when I'm a little bit darker. And what I like about it is it leaves your skin super, super soft. You get a matte finish. Um, the only thing is you might want to set it with a powder. But in the summertime anyway. But other than that, this stuff, I live by it. And... Every time I go on Walmart, they never have my colors. So, because I'm going to have to order it online or find a store that carries all the colors. But I definitely recommend this. Um, as for my foundation today, I just picked this up. This is the Maybelline Dream Nude um, Air Foam. So, it's an airbrush makeup. It's an airbrush foundation. And I like it. So, as you can see, it's like a, a light coverage. Like, again, I have that one today. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is it comes out super, super quick. And if you press down too hard, you get a lot, a lot of product. So it's pretty wasteful, but you just, you know, shake it up, put it on your hand, take a little stippling brush, and do it like that. And, like I said, that's the foundation I'm wearing today. And let me see what color this is. Hold on, Logan. This is in sun beige as well. This is a 265. So I'm pretty big on like Maybelline products. I always use Maybelline because they always have my skin tone. Love it. <laughs> so the last and final thing I'm going to show you guys is the BB cream. And I'm a medium in the BB cream in the winter time. I'm probably like a medium deep in the summer but I haven't picked any up because I've been using the e.l.f. BB creams in the summer um this has sunscreen in it and everything so it protects your face when you go outside um what I like about this BB cream is it acts as a foundation but it's not as heavy as a foundation like it doesn't how can I explain it like if you were to go like this your foundation isn't gonna rub off so it's more like a tinted lotion to me wait no not a lotion it's like a foundation, but very, very light, and that's why I love it. So, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, um, 
about my favorite foundations. You guys can ask me and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. See you guys later.